Hey everyone, and welcome to part 5, or episode 5, of Calling with Jail Pens. We are going to be finishing up the page we had, uh, we are, we're going to finish the page we start in Twilight Garden. My, my brain's still jumbled yet, um, but we're going to be finishing up this nameplate page that we started up a few parts ago, and, you know, it's nice and sparkly with all the gel pens, the sparkles, but I want to show something first. Um, I've had some questions if the gel pens bleed through on this paper, and they do ghost through very slightly. Oops. Zoom me in. Right in here, you can kind of see a little bit of the ghosting through um, of the purple gel pen. I'll show, flip over and show you which one. But that is the only one where it kind of ghosted through. And you can only really see it if you kind of look for it. Like if you're like looking at this picture, let me see, there you go. If you're kind of looking at this picture and not focusing on the ghost through, it doesn't bleed through or ghost through or bother you and everything like that. And I will say I have not ever put, um, a piece of paper or anything like that behind here um and it did not transfer from this page to this page so it, it does kind of go through slightly and it's this kind of color right here so if that bothers you um you can kind of test it out like you can test it on like this front page here uh, or um i think there's a page there's no page in the back but you can test it out on this front page here um and see if it goes through and then just make a note of it and take that um, pen out of your stash for eye while you're coloring and everything like that, or just make a note of it. But it doesn't go I go through where it kind of like ruins the picture back here because it's still very much doable. So, but anyways, we're gonna finish this picture up today. I picked out all the colors. These are from um, I forget the name of them, but like a they're uh, coming like a clamshell type of thing at um, Ollie's. But I just grabbed a whole bunch of colors here that we're gonna finish up with. And we're going to finish up the picture. So, I think we're going to start with these little flowers here. So, let me zoom you in. And we are going to do them. I have this kind of multicolor gel pen here. And the first color that's in there is pink. So, we're going to do them pink. And kind of like a neon pink. So, let me turn this down so I don't make glitter all over me. So, I hope everyone is having a good day is currently Wednesday night when I am filming this. And this gel pen might randomly change colors on me halfway through, so we might have yellow flowers, you know, but that would be the surprise of it all. But um, it's Wednesday night we're filming this. I was actually gonna film this last night, but I tried to film like a promo type thing for, that I could put on like my personal Twitter, my. Uh, my Instagram and on, on my booktube channel for my book as a promo that way like you can kind of like it's like a, like a small commercial basically and it the video it's like the video is like 47 seconds long and it took me two and a half hours to film that small little clip because I could not get anything right for the life of me like i would get one thing right like one thing perfect and then the next thing would be like wrong and i just it was so annoying and i was like i cannot film because of the fact that if i go from filming that to try to sit down color i will be because i was kind of annoyed you know and everything like that and kind of annoyed at myself most of all for like messing up the same thing that i kind of rehearsed over and over and over again so I was like, you know what, I am just going to take the night off from filming and just upload the video that I was uploading and just sit in bed and read. And I started last night reading um, Catwoman Soul Stealer, I think, by, it's written by Sarah J. Moss, but it's like a long series of like other authors like mixed together. Um, and it's like an origin story of all the different like... Um, DC characters like that, like DC icons, like this one is Catwoman, last one was Batman, the first one was Wonder Woman, I think the next one is Superman, um, but I just got the first two chapters, and it's okay, like, I've kind of fallen out of love with Sarah J Moss's writing, because she kind of overwrites everything, in my opinion, like, she kind of, like, I don't know, kind of like, it's hard to explain, but like, it could have been done faster. Because like, the first two chapters were all backstory. And 
I don't really know much about the um, DC Universe as a whole. I'm much more of like a Marvel Comics person. But um, I was looking up different characters and she did change some things with um, Celine Kyle's um, sister. The name is the same. It's, she's still Maggie Kyle. But, like, the backstory and stuff like that is slightly different. So, it's like, okay, is she going to change more? Like, it's going to mess with, like, canon for other stuff, you know? So, I'm going to kind of, like, after I'm done reading it, I'm going to do kind of, like, a um, researching type of thing to see how much has changed. And I'm kind of nervous about reading on from now because, like, the first two chapters are backstory and then it kind of well, it doesn't kind of it skips over to uh, like two years into the future and i'm kind of nervous now because it's getting to the point where she's like full on catwoman i believe i didn't read any further so i don't know but um in the description of the book it mentions that poison ivy and harley quinn and they are in there and catwoman teams up with i think batwing i think or nightwing um and Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are like my favorite characters. Even Catwoman is my favorite character. Even though I don't like know a lot about the history of Catwoman and stuff like that, like the backstory. Um, there she's still my favorite character. And Harley Quinn is my all-time favorite character from the DC Universe. And it's like if she if Sarah J. Moss messes up Harley Quinn, it's gonna be like a like a very harsh review, you know, because like they're favorite characters. You can't, like, mess with the favorite character, you know what I mean? But, I don't know. Like, I want to read it, but at the same time, now I'm, like, getting to the point where, like, okay, she's going to start introducing Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy as, like, the villains of the story with the new person. Like, I think she made up a... I don't know if there's a villain. The villain that's, like, makes Nightwing or Batwing, I think it's Nightwing, um, team up with um, Catwoman to, like, stop. I think it's a new villain. That Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy team up with. So I think that Sarah J. Moss is gonna, like, that made the character up, which kind of has me nervous as well because it's kind of hard to explain. Um, I think now we're gonna go in with. We're gonna go in with this purplish color here. And we're gonna do these. Little stem things that are coming off. Oops, can't see it. Little stem things that are coming off the purple. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I, if you know kind of like Sarah J. Moss's writing, it's hard to describe it. But like, she writes good, but at the same time, she kind of writes problematic stuff. You know, like she. It's hard, very hard to explain, you know. I think um, there's a lot of videos on BookTube and YouTube, you know, about that, that, uh, that put it out there better. Like, she's one of my favorite authors, like, Guilty Read authors, you know, type of thing. Like, the Court of uh, Thorns and Roses books are one of my favorites um, books. Um, but I can see, like, I think the problem is, like, she became very popular of an author, and she's now kind of not as, I think she's like trying to write too, too much, you know, and it's kind of taking the quality down of some books. Because even reading this Catwoman, when you, like, I can tell it's not like at the same level as her older writing, which I, I, I'm saying that as like A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Wings and Ruin, which are the first two books in the Court of series. Um, like... From those two, uh, two to like the third one, you can tell like a big difference like in the writing. Like it kind of felt rushed writing, you know, but I still enjoyed it. And I just kind of tell that with this Catwoman one because I think she had like three books out this year, you know. So she's like a busy, busy person, you know. It's not a bad, she doesn't write horribly, you know. It's just that she writes a lot and I think it's kind of starting to, oh, the line wasn't drawn in. So we'll just kind of like put that like that. Um, I think it's just kind of like taking a toll and everything like that, like um, with the writing. You know, I think like one book a year for books, like authors, like that, 
without being like forcing like out like a lot of stuff is a good thing you know because sometimes you know if you force a lot of stuff out it does not really work as good you know especially if it's like long fantasy books i think that's what kind of has kept my interest in um cassandra claire for a long time because she kind of like oh it's only like one book a year and it kind of like keeps the oh hope you can see that i hope i didn't move that out of the way um it kind of keeps the level up, up for me at least Hopefully, like, this rambling isn't annoying. Um, okay, I'm gonna do... Next, I'm gonna do, I think... Hmm. I think I am going to do... This blue. Okay, I like this blue color here. And I think we're gonna do... These flowers here. So hopefully, wait... Hopefully I remember to ask everyone how they were doing. I kind of forgot already if I asked or not. Hopefully I asked. I hope everyone is having a good week and is having a good day when you're watching this. I think I will probably be putting this up on Saturday because I have another book video to post on my book channel Thursday. So that will go up Friday, you know, Thursday night to Friday. But I think this will go up probably Saturday. So I hope everyone's having a good week. This is kind of like the non-sparkle version of this one here. Um, but yeah. Um, and then I think this weekend, of course, I'm looking forward to the um, reading weekends. I always make my, I'm starting to make my weekends now reading weekends where I don't color as a primary source of entertainment. I read. Um, and it's helped out a lot. Um, and if you're interested in reading stuff, I do have a book channel. It's down below. And I do vlog my reading weekends. Um, so I vlog um, Friday nights or Friday, um, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I upload it for Tuesday usually. Or Wednesday. I usually upload it. Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I upload it. And um, this weekend, I'm excited because I'm going to be reading more of Catwoman. I'm going to be reading more of... Um, Black Rain. I'm actually going to read that tonight after I'm done filming. I'm going to go to bed and read that. And then, um, on this weekend, we're going to go to, I'm going to stop at Ollie's because I want to pick up some more gel pens because I'm running low on a few of these, um, Right Dudes Scribbler stuff or Scribbler stuff, Right Dudes, um, gel pens. And I love those pens. Those are like the, um, purple one here that I, I showed you. They are like really, really, really juicy and I love them. Um, and the colors are like really vibrant and they had a pack there. Um, and I want to pick them up because, um, like I said, I like to have them. I like the color payoff and just how like juicy they are. Um, like they like the ink really flows from the pen. Um, and I'm going to go there and I'm going to, I'm going to try to upload on my Instagram story if I find any good deals there in coloring books. Um, that way, you know, because I know a lot of people use Ollie's for, um, deals and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to try to, if I find any, like, good deals, like, um, like, very popular, um, coloring books that are, like, going around, if I find them there, or if I find some books that, like, I really, really like, um, that I want to share, I'll, like, post them on my Instagram story, um, I want to try doing that because I usually like to go to Ollie's like every few weeks and look at like the color books like that. So I will try to post that on Instagram. So if you're following me, just check my stories this weekend and I'll try if I um, if I find deals, I'll be posted there. If, there, if I don't find any, um, then I won't post, you know, there uh, unless I'm like working on a call, I, I, I like a whip or something like that. But, um, I want to start doing that when I go there because I know a lot of people use Ollie's for the deals like that and um, are on like a budget and that's how they get like a lot of their stuff. So I want to do that um, and start posting like that when I find stuff instead of waiting to post like in a haul because like if I post it on Instagram and someone sees it, they can go like that day where if I post it on a haul, people might not be able to see the deal until like two, three days later and it might be gone. So like if you see it on an Instagram story, you're like, oh, well, I'm going to go take a trip there and see if mine has it, you know, type of thing. See, so, yeah, that's what I've been up to and what we've been doing this weekend. And today, today was Wednesday. So we had American Horror Story and I'm not going to spoil it because like I said, every single time I'm not going to spoil it, but this season is the best season ever. Like I love it so much. Um, I'm going to buy like all of my favorite seasons on DVD and this one's definitely going to be um, 
and Insta bikes. I love it. Um, and we had and a season premiere of Empire tonight, but me and my mom missed it because my dad was out of town for most of the week and he was coming back to, uh, into town tonight, so we missed it because he was on the when my mom and dad were on the phone. I think that's it there. So we have just these here left to do, and then we have our butterfly and the insides. I'm gonna do the insides of these flowers before I forget. We're gonna do them as kind of like a lightish purple. Um, but we missed Empire, so I'm gonna watch that tomorrow night um, on Hulu. Um, because we, me and my mom really love the show. I found it on the first season, like when all the hype of it was going on, and I just fell in love with it. Like it has probably like the most talented cast of character uh, actors um, on like any show like on right now. Um, I actually start watching it because I love um, what's her name, Taraji P Henson. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I like I've um, I forget the movie I first seen her. I think it was. Oh, I forget which one it actually was now, but I seen. I remember seeing us back in like 2009, 2010 maybe, and I just like fell in love with her acting, and I just kind of like followed her career since then. I seen that she was on the show, and that all the hype was about. It. I missed the first three episodes, I think, and I st I caught up on it, and then I watched. I start start watching for since then, and it's just me and my mom has not missed an episode since then. So we're gonna watch that tomorrow. Um. And I'm really looking forward to it. Last season wasn't the best, the fourth season. But I'm looking forward to where everything's going so far. Because, like, last season, like, if I remember correctly, it ended in a really big cliffhanger. I'm not going to say it, but I, like, I'm thinking of what happened in my head. And I'm trying to remember if that was last the fourth season or the third season. Because this is the fifth season. But I... I'm gonna watch it no matter what, even like with the cliffhanger. But um, try to like remember if it was the third season or the f uh, the fourth season because they all have cliffhangers, like all TV shows do for like. Because if you think about it, like it's a soap opera, you know, it's just like a weekly soap opera, and they all have kind of like cliffhanger endings, you know. But let's see if I can. I can't get nope. I can't get that any further. So, um, we're gonna watch that, and then we were gonna watch Total Divas, but we missed that as well. But we'll catch up on that eventually. It's just a reality show. So, um, but we watched how we, our, we watched um, Mary Horster, which is the most important thing. And Thursday, um, we have shows on, but we don't have shows on because we watch um, shows that air, like air like a day afterwards. So we have um, tomorrow night is the premiere of Grey's Anatomy and How We Do With Murder, uh, which I'm so excited about because How We Do With Murder is like the best, like one of the best shows. Like I love. It's, it's annoying how addicting it is, but it's, like, really, really good as well. Like, each season, like, you're gonna, like, you are you tell yourself going in, like, this is probably my last season, I'm gonna watch it, because, you know, it kind of, like, it revolves off of cliffhangers, you know, type of thing, and keeping you hooked that way, but it's, like, so good, the actor, and, like, the actors and the characters are just really, really addicting, um, and so I'm looking forward to that, and then watch that Friday, those two shows Friday, um, but today I spent the day mostly catching up on color and chats. I watched um, Anne's new video for uh, Jazz and Becca Griffith's Halloween. And then keep it zoomed in because we're going to be doing that next. We're going to be doing these in kind of like a beige-ish red, red kind of metallic color. Like for these colors, here, for these things here. Uh, I did that and then I watched... Um, uh, Candy, Candy's Colorful World, I think, um, she was doing a picture, I think, from a Millie Murata book, I don't I think it's the, her new one, I'm not sure, I seen the book, um, when I was out shopping, I didn't pick it up because I'm kind of intimidated by Millie Murata's, um, um, artwork, but I loved what, um, Candy was doing in her video, and I think I got the name right, Candy's Colorful World. I mess up names all the time, but um, I was watching that, and she did a Happy Mail video. I watched that the other night, and I was going to watch Color and Chat as well, but I kind of was just getting a little too tired. So I was like, I'm going to leave it in my history and watch it tomorrow, the next day. Um, and I watched that today while I was coloring, and then I start watching uh, an older live stream from 
May Bronx, I think that's her channel name, or just May. I forget. I, I know there's May in the name. Like, I'm really bad at names. But um, she was using Ink Tents in a Misfits page, and I loved what she was doing. Like, the Ink Tents are just. She makes it very tempting to pick them up because what she was doing in that video is like really, really good. Um, the artwork and everything like that. And I started watching, I didn't finish it. Um, I got about, I think, 45 minutes to an hour in, and then I stopped. Usually that's what I'll, what I'll do with live streams. I'll like watch like about 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'll stop and come back, and you know, like, I like, I like later that day or the next day. Um, but I stopped because it was kind of getting late, and I was kind of like getting towards the time of, um, when I was finished coloring because like I usually will watch coloring chats like if I'm trying to go to bed at night time um most I like to save them for like when I am coloring so and I think I'm gonna do that different color I think because that is a de technically a different plant so I'm gonna do that different color so let me um we'll do it this color we'll do the pink color I grabbed it off of the um shelf um but uh, that was all I watched today, um, and I think I'll probably watch more tomorrow, because I have to finish up, I have to kind of like buckle down and finish up this outline for my book, um, the next book that I'm writing in the Teen Slasher series. Um, I want to get the outline done, because I want to get finish writing it by um, next month, and the, not, I want to start writing next month, I want to finish it by November. Like I'll get like extend NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month in November. I'm gonna extend that into like a two month writing period. That way I can kind of like get the first draft done, leave it sit for a few months, then come back and edit everything up uh, on it. Um, sorry, here's like I heard something beeping outside. Like what in the world is doing that? And it's probably the dumpster people because they're kind of like, it's been like a little late behind, you know, like the one, we have two dumpster things in our apartment complex. We have like the main front one and we have like a back one that's for like bulk one, like bulk garbage. And with the hurricane going through, um, the one in the back is kind of like overflowing lately. So that's probably where they're them picking it up. But um, I'm gonna try in the next two months writing uh, that first draft of the book. So that way it's kind of done. I can take a break from it and then um, come back before, like a few months before it's time for release and edit it up and get everything done, you know. Um, so that way that one's done, but I want to kind of like buckle down because I only have um, about two, maybe three more chapters to outline. And then I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to do this outline of the butterfly into like a sparkling green color. And hopefully I have enough of the gel pen left over. But I only have like, oh wait. Missed, missed that thing there. That was a blue, the blue color. But I only have like two or three chapters left to outline, so I might even try to do that tonight before I go to bed. At least get one more outlined. Because I'm in the middle of outlining one, so I need to finish that up. Um, and that was ready. And it, it was uh, really exciting today because. Um, I was keeping, I always keep track of like all like the sales things and I hit 10 sales on the ebook this month, which is actually like the highest selling stuff of a, like a release month, you know, like I've sold that much over like a lifetime of a book, but like this is like the highest I've actually sold, um, of ebook in the release month, like within the release window, which is like really, really cool. So I was like really excited about that earlier. And I was like, that's what like it kind of inspired the trip to Ollie's. Like, I'm gonna go and like, like go like splurge a little bit because I got like extra sales and, um, I was like keeping track of it. And, like I got, um, two people. I don't know if it was two people or like, one person or like two copies, but like two people in the UK ordered um, paperbacks of my um, second short story collection, and that was like the first time. That's like the first time that actually I think people were a paperback version of my book. No. Second time. Um, that someone ordered the paperbacks of my books, but like, um, that was the first one of that one there. I was like, oh my god, that was so exciting. Um, so I was like, I was really excited and everything like that. It's been a really good, um, book month. 
So I was really excited about that. Um, and I think next month I will let you know in here, but I'm going to be doing, um, I think a free month or a free week. I can only do a week at a time. I have to check if I can with the one book for um, Halloween and do a free week um, of it. So that way you can get it on the Kindle edition for free. So I like to do that randomly throughout the year, do like a random like free week or free day type of thing. So there we go, I got a nice green. I'm gonna leave this white in the middle kind of um, for that. And now onto the finishing touches. We're gonna do this flower here. We're gonna do it in watermelon drops from the Sugar Rush um, gel pen. So it's gonna have a watermelony smell. There we go. And I really love these ones. I need to find, uh, um, try looking these up on Amazon because I love these Sugar Rush um, gel pens. They are like super juicy and you know, who doesn't want their book to kind of smell like a little bit like fruit? You know, like the, I like the, um, there's one, where's that? This one. Uh, the, no, it's not, is this one that one? No. No, that's not the one. Where'd it go? This one. No. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't that, it was a marker. But the, there's a marker that smells like kind of like lemons and it smells like, like fresh, like lemon pledge, you know? And it smells like really, really good. And like every time I use it, like I just kind of like wave the page around and like get the smell in the air. And then today, oh, that's what I forgot to mention. Today I got um, books in the mail. Um, reading books, not coloring books. Um, but also, sorry, it just popped in my head. There's a book I found on Amazon. I will link it in uh, the description below. Um, if you're looking for a Halloween book, uh, it's only three uh, three ninety nine. Um, I don't know if that's like if it's only for three ninety nine for the month or if it's three ninety nine all together. You always, but I'll link it down below because I'm going to be ordering that book. I think at the end of this week, um, I put it on my wish list for the time being. But um, the images in it and are really really good for a three ninety nine book, and it's on crazy size paper. But um, for three ninety nine, it's really good. So I'll remember to link that down below. So now I need I need this chain here. So hold on one second. It's nice now because I moved my room around, and all I have to do is turn my chair around, and I'm right at my coloring supplies. Uh, let's see. We will do it. I almost grabbed this, and you can't use this on double side paper because it will bleed through. Because I have like the black ones, and it does bleed through. We will do it in. We'll do this in the blue milky pop because it kind of covers over the lines a little bit. So zoom me back in. And we're at the finishing stretches now. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I do not know which one we're going to do next. I'm thinking we might do a Zen Doodle book. Because I was going to do... Um, um, I was going to do... Another one, Lost Ocean, but I couldn't, I pulled a book out. I wasn't really in the mood for it, so. So, I don't think I'm going to do that next. So, there we go. That was the finishing touches. This book belongs to Paige. So, yeah, there you go. And we can lift it up and see the sparkles. Like, I love, the, like, you can see the, how the gel pens work. It's like, I sit there and do this all the time when I'm doing my coloring. That's it for this uh, this color and chat, this part. I think, let me actually, let me close this, no, let me leave this open. No, I'll put this right here. Um, let me grab the book. I think we're going to do a page from next. Let me show we zoomed out. There we are. I think we're going to do a page from Mer Kitties in Love um, by Deborah Moeller. It's from Zen Doodle, but the illustration from, uh, from Deborah Moeller. And I really like this one. Um... Right here, do from uh, the Murkies and Love, or from Magical Murkitties, but both by Deborah Muller illustrations and Zen Doodle. This difference are lines. I'm thinking more towards this one, but I'm not sure. There's really cute pictures in here in both of them, but I'm thinking more of this one because I really there's one in here. Where'd it go? You're getting a small flip through here because I forgot where the picture was.
No. That one. This one here with the little baby kitten. I was thinking about doing this one, but I'm not sure. Um, we shall see. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coloring with Gel Pens. And once again, there's the finished page. Um, I will see you guys in the next part, which will probably come in like a week. Uh, I, um, cause I'm going to start filming a lot more this, uh, this one next week again. Um, get back into the groove of it. But anyways, until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day and happy coloring.